Welcome to my video on how to make a loop in a wire. Sounds pretty basic, right? Well, I wasn't sure how to do it and I had to go to the local store to figure it out, so I'd share it with you. Um, making, a wire in a, making a loop in a wire, you need wire, and the key is to get what's called a ferrule. Um, and there are, there are other ways to do this, but I found this kind of the easiest. Um, so I have a 1 16th wire and a 1 16th ferrule. I think what size you get depends on what the job is for. I'm hanging lights, cafe lights, so I, it's not supporting much weight. And so out of my toolbox, I, can, I, I have tools that I can use to work with this. I'm gonna use these wire cutters to kind of crimp this ferrule, and I'll show, show you what that means here in a second. Um, so in the opening in the ferrule, it kind of looks like an eight. Um, so, that, which means you go in one side of the ferrule, like this, I can do it. And one thing to watch out for is when you cut these, these this little wire will stick you. <laughs> um, so just be careful with that. So I've got it going in one side like that. And all you do is you come around and you go back in the ferrule from the same side. So here's your loop. You got a little excess there, that's fine. And then you take your crimping tool, or I guess they call them swag tools, but again, I'm using my fancy wire cutters. I recommend these because I use these all the time. And I'm gonna use this part right here. It's the flat part um, towards the front of the tool um, because all I need to do is basically put a little bit of bend in this ferrule. And the way I do that is I do two. So I kind of goes towards the top of the ferrule and I find a flat surface and I basically put a lot of weight on it. And you can kind of feel the ferrule give a little bit. And that's all I did. And I'm gonna do one more, just for safety's sake. Again, we're talking cafe lights, you don't have to be that safe. Um, and I'm gonna put two in here, just as a backup. So if you look at this closely, you can kind of see two little indentions there. Okay, so that means it's pretty secure. And I can yank on this, of course I don't have much wire to yank on. Um, and then I have a pair of wire cutters um, that, again, it's a 16th of an inch wire. So easily, this easily cuts it. Um, I, I would recommend obviously bigger ones for bigger wire. Again, that's kind of one of the reasons I got a 1 16th of wire. There we go, and it easily cuts it. Um, so hope you enjoyed that video. And depending, again, depending on your use, um, smaller use, it's a lot easier. If you're using bigger wire, bigger ferrules, uh, good luck. Um, but uh, the cheapest way to do it is that. And click on the link in this video to find out how I use this wire in the loop to hang cafe or string lights. And here's a picture, close up shot of the loop and ferrule. And also, here are some of the tools that were used in making the video. Thanks for watching.